Freedom of speech is a protected right in the Constitution. Does that mean we can say whatever we want whenever we want to say it? Uh, no. Well, I mean, it depends. All of the freedoms in the Constitution have limits, and free speech is no exception. So let's talk about it. Take a look right here. Um, that's too close. Uh, back up. <laughs> Much better. Freedom of speech is in the First Amendment of the Bill of Rights. James Madison wrote the Bill of Rights back in 1791. Madison is called the father of the U.S. Constitution. I'm not sure who the mother is. Anyway, the Bill of Rights is the first ten amendments to the U.S. Constitution, and it was created to protect people who were kind of nervous about this new federal government that was founded a few years earlier in 1789. Madison wanted to ensure that the people would have the right to tell the government what to do and criticize the government without being arrested. So he included freedom of speech in the First Amendment. Over the years, freedom of speech was expanded to include symbols and expression. We can give a speech like four score and seven years ago, or we can say nothing at all. Freedom of expression can be someone standing still, really quiet, with their fist in the air, writing a letter, an athlete taking a knee, or even burning the American flag. Yes, the U.S. Supreme Court said all those actions count as free speech, even if no one is talking. Artwork is free speech, too. Writers are free to write, and poets can create beautiful verses of poetry. Dancers dance, painters paint, and, uh, well, you get the picture. <laughs> Expression of an idea silently is the same as shouting your complaint as loud as you can. But what about symbols? When protesters march with a sign, the images and words on that sign are protected under free speech. But wait, the word protest isn't even in the Constitution. So how is protest protected? Along with free speech, the First Amendment has freedom of assembly and our right to petition the government for a redress of grievances. That's how protest rights were created. But this is where the limits come in. Our Constitution does not protect fighting words or speeches that incite a riot. Also, you can get arrested for screaming fire in a dark theater when there isn't one. Free speech does not give the right to terrify others, and you cannot tell lies about other people and call it free speech. No, no, no. Saying things that are not true is called defamation. You can get sued in court for hurting other people with lies. Spoken defamation is slander, and written defamation is libel. That includes lies written or spoken on social media. So watch it. But in America, we can still criticize our elected politicians on social media, TV, and in our homes or anywhere. Remember, freedom of speech was created to allow the people freedom to speak up about what our government is doing and talk freely to each other. How would you know what to say about your government if you're not paying attention? Hmm. Let's review. Freedom of speech is in the First Amendment. This constitutional freedom gives us the power to keep our elected officials in check by speaking up. Speech can be spoken or written. It can even be expressed without any words at all. But freedom of speech does not mean we can say anything we want anywhere we want to say it. Pay attention. It's our government. Speak up. This is your democracy. Keep it strong.